Hello everyone and welcome to another episode in my game art series of videos in Unreal Engine 4. In this video we're going to be taking a look at opacity maps and how they work and how we create them. So to demonstrate how an opacity map works, let's first of all create one uh, in a material. So to demonstrate this, I've got two textures here. I've got my wirefence uh, underscore D, D for diffuse, and this is the color of my texture. So it's the actual color here. Now the purpose of an opacity map is to make some parts of an image see through. So my goal is to turn these white areas here see through. To aid me in that, I've got an opacity map. And this opacity map basically is a black and white image and all the things that are white are going to be saved and kept and all the things that are going to be black are going to be made um, transparent. Now if you have greys in here then your greys will be affected as well and that means it will be semi-transparent. So with the combination of these two we can create a wire fence. Now an Apache map has loads of benefits which we'll go through in a minute and you'll see them a lot in lots of video games because they're uh, really useful and really efficient manner they do details. So let's get cracking on making this material. So I'm just going to right click on my diffuse here and click create material and I'm going to call it wire fence underscore mat and in here you should see the texture is plugged into base color. So to use the opacity you'll see the opacity and the opacity mask have both been grayed out that's because by default materials are opaque meaning you can't see through them to make it so you can use these opacity and opacity mask we need to change its blend mode so if we go over to the right left hand side with this middle main uh, output node selected you should see blend mode and the default is as i said opaque we can change this to masked or translucent masked is what we'll be using in this case and a, a masked uses the opacity mask so remember my image where it's black and white? Well that means that the mask will only ever use black values and white values and not use any grey values. So if you've got something that's going to be semi-transparent, we need to change it from mask to translucent instead. And here you'll see the other opacity mask is appearing. So I'm going to put it back to mask for the purpose of the wire fence here. So to do this, I need to make a new texture sample. So I hold down T on my keyboard and left click. To create a new texture sample and I want to choose the wire fence opacity which is the black and white image as the texture and from there I'm going to drag my RGB out over to my opacity mask and you should see I'll be able to see through this uh, preview ball here now the wire fence is wrapping around the whole entire ball but you can't see through the other side of it because this is a one-way texture or one way material rather and by default all materials are one way if you want to be able to see it from both sides then we have to make it two sided and again very simply you can click on the main output node here and on the left hand side you will see a two sided tick box ticking that will make it so you can see both sides inside and outside of the, uh, the sphere here and there you have it I'll click apply And now we can apply that to an object. So if I was to drag this material now onto this box, you should see it is now a wireframe box. So how can we really utilize this to make it look really good? Well, we're going to show you a technique that a lot of games use to create high detailed wireframes. So we're going to go into drag a plane. And I'm going to put my wireframe mesh uh, material on it, sorry, like so. So there's our wireframe, uh, wire fence, sorry. And we can see it from both sides, but it's still pretty obvious that it is a flat image. So if I was, let's just raise this up a little bit higher. And put it in plane. If I look around at it, it is pretty obvious that it is flat. Okay. So a technique a lot of games use is they actually just duplicate this and move it slightly back so now when you play it gives the illusion of a uh, thickness there see how I move you can see a sort of depth to it in fact we could probably move it a bit closer than that 
Uh, we're going to move it in the X. You only want it slightly in front. So that when you move left and right to it, you get that sort of parallax look. And instantly, it makes it have a three-dimensional appearance. Even though that is simply just two planes or four tries. So very efficient for games to do this. Rather than modeling all these different chain links, we get a sort of similar effect by just using two planes. And this effect is useful for all sorts of things. Um, I know for a fact that Arkham City and Arkham Asylum, those games used this technique for their gothic uh, railings and fences in their city. It makes things a lot easier and quicker to make. And it's an illusion. Um, so it will break if the player start really pays attention to it. But chances are this will be an object that they won't pay attention to. So you can get away with it. And the efficiency that it, it affords us is way far outweighs the, uh, the realistic appearance of it. So what else can we actually show you? Well, let's actually go through how to create an opacity mask. In Photoshop, I'm just going to use my polygonal lasso tool, and I'm just going to click this sort of torn sheet. We're going to make some f torn fabric as part of our model. like so and I'm going to on the new layer paint this section in white select inverse and paint the rest of it in black and there's my opacity map okay I'm now going to save this out and export it and import it into Unreal so here I've brought in a canopy I quickly made in Maya and it's just a simple canopy nothing special low red um, but I want to make this say a torn bottom or maybe you want it as a wave or anything like that. Rather than modeling it and causing massive amounts of tries and quads in your engine, you can just use an opacity map. So we can go into our material for our canopy, make sure it is set to masked mode and put in a texture sample of your opacity map. Plugging it in to opacity mask and hitting apply. And there you have it, a detailed looking mesh that isn't actually detailed whatsoever. So we can really optimize our game and its uh, use of the uh, opacity maps to indicate much higher detail than there actually is. And it's a technique that lots of games actually use, even the big AAA ones. And that will do it. Thanks very much for watching, everyone. If you have any suggestions for game art videos you'd like to see, hit me up in the comments below with your suggestions. And if you want to support the channel and see future episodes way before anyone else, head over to patreon.com forward slash Ryanaley, where donating just $1 a month will get access to videos like two months, three months ahead of time, and um, as well as many other benefits such as our Discord and so on. Thanks to everyone who has supported me thus far, and uh, big shout out to those who have supported me at the highest tiers. I wouldn't be doing this guy without you guys, so thank you very much once again. And that, that's all for me tonight, so thank you all, and I'll see you all next time. Bye-bye.